We're all beginning to understand that privilege process automation is a great way of securing IT operations and business processes. It separates the process operator from all the credentials and from direct system access, and it really does reduce human error. It presents you a great automation gallery, and at a click of a button, you can get piles of things done. However, there are times when we need to add a small speed bump in the way of the process operator. For example, there's a great deal of difference between shutting down a system with no users on it and shutting down a system with many users on it. Now, we call this speed bump adaptive authorization or step up authorization. And it works because the PPA process is interacting with the various systems and it knows which state they're in. And it can control the flow of the process that the user sees. We've put together this example where there is a database reset where there are no users and a database reset where there are active users. So here's our task and our task is designed to do a database clean and reset on some e-commerce systems. In this particular case, we're going to choose stopped and pending systems and we'll see that this task just runs quite simply with no extra uh, authorization needed. So let's just run that again, but this time we're going to choose some systems that are running with live users on them. So just as before, we see the message, we're going to choose these two systems and then the running systems. Then we get a warning telling us that active customers will have their baskets reset, customers could have their checkouts fail, and there's going to be an email going to managers and the customer services teams. If we really need to do this, we're going to hit submit. We're going to choose the two systems that are running and then submit and then when we hit the button we'll see that the systems that were on both lists have been done. Now at this point we can have a look at the warning email that's come through and that shows us how authentication, authorization, and communication have all worked together. If you've enjoyed this, slap like, subscribe and ring the bell. And if you'd like to know more about this specific process, please get in touch.